The third uh, protocol that we'll take a look at within credit and lending is called Aave. And uh, I've got a very uh, nice example of a refinancing uh, in this, uh, this module. So uh, we'll be able uh, to see the mechanics of how something like this actually works. So Aave uh, launched in 2017. So it's been around a while. Uh, I know that doesn't seem like a long time, but uh, this, is, uh, this is actually a long time. Uh, within uh, decentralized finance. So it is also a leading protocol uh, and it's similar uh, to Compound. So uh, at this point in time, at least, there's more tokens uh, to supply and borrow uh, within uh, Aave. And uh, Aave has also got something that's kind of interesting in that the rates uh, for borrowing um, and, uh, and, and supplying are, are more predictable. And we'll talk about that uh, to some degree. So for example, we already saw in Compound that it is possible as the, uh, as the utilization ratio uh, increases, that that could greatly increase uh, the rate of, uh, uh, of interest cost. So, uh, so Aave offers something a little uh, different in terms of, of this. So, I uh, think of this as uh, two markets. Um, the first is kind of more conventional ERC-20 tokens, very similar to, to Compound. So we've got the main assets, uh, Ether, USDC, the stable coin um, that's guaranteed by Coinbase, and uh, DAI, which we've talked about uh, in this course in considerable detail. There's also another market that's specific to the Uniswap Uni token. So Uniswap is next. So uh, the next module is on decentralized exchange, and we will go through a lot of detail in terms of what Uniswap actually does. So, um, so the LP token, um, so that's LP for liquidity uh, provider, um, this will be uh, something that uh, can be used in terms of, uh, of the Aave protocol and other uh, DeFi uh, protocols. So, uh, so it's another way to generate uh, returns. So uh, Aave also offers flash uh, loans. So the fee uh, for the loan is nine basis points. Okay, so that's 0 0.09 of a percent. That's pretty, uh, pretty cheap. Uh, and remember, we talked about these loans, that they've got zero duration, and there's no obvious counterparty risk. So nine basis points, uh, it seems cheap. It is cheap. But I predict that these rates will go down. Indeed, by the time you're uh, actually uh, viewing this, the rate might be lower. And we'll explore uh, the reasons of why. So where does this fee go? Uh, the fee goes to an asset pool and provides additional returns to the suppliers. Okay, so it's not like dividended out. Uh, so this is uh, just goes in as an extra rate of return. So uh, the flash loan is going to be very useful in terms of giving users the ability to access capital uh, very quickly uh, to do what they have to do. And it might be an arbitrage trade or it might be a, a refinancing. So let's go through uh, some examples. Suppose the price of ETH is 200 DAI. Um, and then a user supplies 100 ETH in compound and borrows 10,000 DAI. Okay, so I know we're talking about Aave, but we're gonna start this example with Compound. So uh, there's a loan right now uh, for 10,000, and uh, it's possible they can lever up and purchase an additional 50 DAI, and then they use that also to uh, supply in Compound. Now, Suppose the borrow interest rate 
in dye on compound is 15%. But in Ave, suppose the borrow rate is only 5%. Okay, so you've already done the loan with compound and you're paying 15%. There's a cheaper possibility at 5%. So our goal here will be to refinance uh, the borrowing to take advantage of the lower rate offered by Ave. Okay, and this is very analogous to refinancing a mortgage. The rate goes down, you want to refinance. But in traditional finance, as I've already described, that takes a long time and it's awkward uh, to do. So let's go through some of the mechanics of a refinance. So one possibility is just to manually unwind uh, each trade uh, on compound and then do the trades again on Ave and reconstruct the levered uh, position. So that's possibility uh, to do. Uh, that's in two steps. It will take um, two transactions at least uh, to do that. And of course, we need to deal with the transaction fees that are associated with that. The other possibility is to use a flash loan and to do this all together in one step. So let's actually go through uh, the mechanics here. So I've got a diagram for this, but let me just uh, tell you uh, the basic uh, idea of what's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flash loan from Ave for 10,000 die. We're gonna use that loan to pay down all the debt and compound. We will withdraw the 250 ETH from compound. We will resupply to Ave and uh, at a 5% annual percentage rate uh, against that collateral uh, to repay the flash loan. Okay, so we borrow from Mave, and then we're going to repay the flash loan. And the latter approach basically uh, skips um, a lot of exchanging and does this in, in one step. So let's, let's take a look in a little more uh, detail uh, with this particular uh, diagram. So uh, before, um, we've got 150 ETH, this collateral, um, we've got uh, a loan of 10,000 and uh, an interest rate on compound of 15%. So uh, what are we going to do? Um, so the first thing we're going to do at the bottom, number one, is initiate a flash loan on Ave, and that will be uh, 10,000 DAI. Okay, so step number two, we will repay with the flash loan the loan that we've got uh, at compound. So when we do that, we reclaim our collateral. So we're step number three, we reclaim the 150 uh, ETH. So number four, we will deposit the 150 ETH uh, in Ave. And then we will uh, use that as collateral to borrow 10,000 die against the ETH. And then the final step is to close the flash loan at 10,000. Okay, so uh, this is uh, extremely interesting because this is a single transaction. And what we've done uh, the transaction's got many steps, and it shows the possibility of going from, uh, from one DeFi Lego to another. So we're using both Compound and Ave, and uh, essentially uh, we're, we're getting a, a loan, a flash loan with no collateral, with no credit check. And the loan has got zero duration because it actually happens to be taken out and paid back in the same uh, transaction. And again, there is a small fee 
that's associated with this that I'm abstracting uh, from. But this is a way to, uh, to refinance to get uh, a lower uh, rate, and it is uh, very elegant. Later uh, in the course, uh, actually in the, in the fourth uh, course, um, we will talk about a much more elaborate uh, transaction that, uh, that goes not just between Compound uh, and Aave, but has got 63 different steps to it. Okay, so, uh, but this is, this is a simple example of what actually is possible uh, within uh, this uh, protocol. So this is our, our introduction to the mechanics of uh, Flash Loan.